Kathy and welcome to a productive week in my life. I study food science, I am in first year, technically second year but it's a long story. I have two exams left until I have summer holidays so I am currently studying very hard for those. Both are MCQs, one is in two days and then the next one is in four days. It's very stressful because I have a lot of content to get through. This is going to be a very interesting productive week in my life. It's not really much of a week though, I just realized it's more like productive days in my life. I am pretty much ready to go for my first study session. I do want to show you though that I have studied a bit over this amount. We're just gonna get like a good 20 minute session in, then I'm gonna go to bed and I will see you in the morning after that. In total, I have three lectures left for human eating behavior and I have two lectures left for psychology. Psychology is the exam that I'm doing first but I've prioritized human eating behavior because I thought it would be more time consuming to do those lectures and I didn't want to have like a big bulk of lectures to do for that right as I finished my psychology exam. So I kind of wanted to like balance it out and do some of the lectures before I set my psychology exam. I'd rather be calm and not have to put in a ginormous amount of work at the last minute. Okay, back to studying. God, because I am so tired. goals today for what I want to achieve. Basically, I want to study for seven hours today. I want to finish covering all the content for both my electives. I think I can definitely do that within seven hours. So I'm going to start off with psychology because that's the priority right now. And then gradually I will switch between psychology and human eating behavior throughout the day just to give myself that balance so it doesn't feel monotonous. And I also get a bit of work done for both electives. It is time.
I just made the dinner and it doesn't look very appetizing, but still. This is the dinner. Healthy. Oh my god, look all the dog hair. Hi guys. I don't know what happened. I haven't filmed me studying or anything for the whole day. I'm so sorry. I have been so stressed trying to get like work done and I know that's like the optimal time to start filming me doing work. I just couldn't do it. However, I did track how much I was studying today and I literally felt like I was studying 24 seven apart from when I had a tiny nap and when I was walking my dog and eating food. So in total, I have studied six hours and 40 minutes so far today and my goal was seven hours. So I'm literally not done with studying. So I'm gonna hit my goal once I do my last 20 minutes right now. I am very proud of myself. I have completely finished studying for psychology. So I'm only studying for my second exam, which is on Monday now. That is human eating behavior. So, oh my God. <laughs> oh God. I just realized I've been putting the flashcards into the wrong deck. Oh my God. Anyway, I wanted to tell you like, what units I've been covering in psychology because I just find it super interesting. I have studied development, social influence and attributions, health psychology, psychological disorders, treatments for psychological disorders, diversity in psychology, and that is everything. While I've been studying all this, I've come to the conclusion that I think I have a lot of conditions that I didn't know terms for and I just thought were like relatively normal and then now I'm like, hmm, maybe I have psychological conditions. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna do a psychology practice exam now. I think I'm gonna call it like a night after that. So yeah. <laughs> Let me show you my forest, just because I'm proud. Good morning, today is exam day. This is my outfit. I put my hair into braids this morning, they're super messy, but honestly, I do not care because I am just stressed. Like, I cannot think about that right now. Anyway, I just want to stand cute for a second. Okay, as I said, it is exam day today. Stressful, but also exciting because I'm going to treat myself to some ice cream tonight to congratulate myself for doing the exam and almost being done with college for the year. So let's do it, I guess. Actually, right now, my family are watching the King Charles coronation, which is on today, which I kind of wish I could watch as well, but probably most of you don't know because my accent is very, very confusing. It's kind of a mix of different accents. However, my family is English and Cypriot. So my dad is English, my mom is Cypriot. My mom mostly grew up in England though. So family feels extremely English. Like they both sound extremely English, but I've been so influenced by living in Ireland that my accent's gotten like weirdly like Irish slash American slash kind of English at times so people don't really know they just assume I'm American for some reason so that's the tea that's the goss so yeah anyway right now I have to study because my exam starts in less than 14 minutes and I really 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 want to just like blurt right now so that I pass this exam and I get an A because that's all I care about
exactly one minute. One minute? I don't even have it open. Oh my god, wait. Oh my god, wait. What am I doing? The exam went so well. It is over. I finished before the deadline. I feel really, really, really good about it. Typically for the last MCQ of the semester, they don't give you your grade back straight away. They just like leave it and it's really annoying because they'll give you your grades for like all the other like in-term exams. But then for the last one, they won't do it for some reason. So I have no idea what I got, but I have a very good feeling about it. There was like only a couple of questions I didn't know, but I pretty much knew everything. So feeling very good. I can now celebrate relaxation until Monday with my next exam. But for now, like my brain has literally stopped working. So I'm gonna end the video here. I'm gonna go ask my mom to buy me some ice cream and say farewell to my desk until at least in a couple of hours.